I suppose I find it hard to overcome the money not being an object. We have to rethink the fundamental principles on which we're educating our children. Through school, there is less importance and value placed on arts and humanities subjects. What do you want to be when you grow up? You can be anything you want. Musician? A photographer. An architect. Drawing. Yeah. Art. English. It's one of my favourite subjects. If you go past that, you can have to go to the head teacher. <laughs> Our world is changing beyond recognition at a pace unmatched by any other point in history. These figures show us that too many young people are making choices age 15 which will hold them back for the rest of their lives. Then the arts and humanities were what you chose because they were useful, we were told, for all kinds of jobs. Of course we now know that that couldn't be further from the truth. It isn't just unfair, it will be a waste of talent, creative and inspiring young minds in modern Britain and life-changing academic choices boost our economy, their dream job, highly paid careers, global economy, top jobs, big business, turbocharge the economy of tomorrow. It's education that's meant to take us into this future that we can't grasp. They all came into being to meet the needs of industrialism. It makes the rich richer, the poor poorer. All the people are working towards the one goal, and the one goal is profit. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. If you have any passion for anything, anything, that's what you should do. We're bringing up children and educating to live the same sort of lives we're living. The working classes, it was so essential to have a job and money because without it you didn't starve. If you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. What do you desire? What would you like to do if money were no object? Forget the money. What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? children are born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. It's quite complicated to think about it, I think, because if money was an object, everything would be different. Work would mean a different thing.
civilization is is six billion people trying to make themselves happy by standing on each other's shoulders and kicking each other's teeth in. It's, a, it's not a pleasant situation. And yet, you can stand back and look at this planet and see that we have the money, the power, the medical understanding, the scientific know-how, the love, and the community to produce a kind of human paradise. But we are led by the least among us the least intelligent, the least noble, the least visionary, we are led by the least of us. Go into it with your full strength of imagination and find out whether that's where you want to be. Culture is not your friend. It, it invites people to diminish themselves and dehumanize themselves by behaving like machines. Lots of people want to break free of that kind of imposed identity that a family or a culture can give you. To be in power, to be in control, is not something that any sensible person wants. needs low paid jobs because yeah. it's how it all works in the hierarchy. Nobody wants power. Having machines doing more of those things, if you actually change the system, if you actually sort of question capitalism more and start to question how things, how work could be done differently and how production could be different, then there is something in the possible sort of yeah. um, freeing of people by machines doing more of the of that work. Yeah. Never thought it through. 
When you get control of it, what are you going to do with it? Leave the world in a, be in a better place for you being in it than not. This is it, this is the one shot you get at life. Really short, so short, it's a heartbeat and it is gone. Now, if you have any possibility to, to be able to do something that you're passionate about and you can live doing it, you know, whether you make a lot of money or whether you make a, just enough money to get by, then, then do that.